New LEGO Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga gameplay footage has just released. In this video, I will be sharing with you the gameplay clips, plus analysing all of the details we can see in each of them. Also, make sure you do subscribe because this weekend there will be a live stream about news for the game on my channel. You do not want to miss it. Also, let's get to 100,000 subscribers. So last night, the official LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga Twitter and Instagram accounts posted this caption with a video of Luke Skywalker. It says, from simple moisture farmer to galactic legend, the saga of Luke Skywalker will never be forgotten. It's this really awesome transitional video showing Luke through the films in his different outfits. Let's go through the video frame by frame, and to start it off, we have farm boy Luke, who we've seen many times, not just in gameplay trailers, but in real life with many different Lego sets. And of course, he's at a moisture farm. We have R2-D2 just behind him alongside the land speeder. Right at the back between Luke and R2, you can see the Imperial landing craft, which was a Lego set. Next up is inside the rebel base on Yavin 4, and it looks amazing. This is Luke in his pilot outfit with a pistol by his side. Behind him, you can see some of the rebel engineers that work on the starfighters walking around. Another shot of Yavin 4 is included. This time it's from the ceremony at the end of A New Hope and it's Luke in his ceremony outfit with his medal. And that is not actually on the texture, it's an actual model, which is really cool to see. I like this. I think what stands out to me the most though is the incredible modelling work on the rocks of both Acto and Yavin 4. The detail on these rocks is insane for a LEGO game. Moving on to The Empire Strikes Back and this is Luke in his Hoth appearance. He's got his lightsaber by his side and this outfit specifically is the 2010 Luke Skywalker appearance that LEGO made. It's not the 2016 version, it's not the 2021 version, but the 2010 version, and this was spotted by nobody quite like me on Reddit. I would say the torso looks a bit too orange in my opinion, maybe it's just the lighting, but it definitely stands out a lot more than the actual minifigure. Plus in the background there are some rebel NPCs working hard. Here is another shot of Luke on Dagobah with Yoda on his back. We've seen this a few times in the gameplay trailers, but it's great to see another piece of gameplay. Luke travels to Bespin after that, and we have another look at Cloud City. This is Luke in his Bespin appearance. And again, I just can't stop admiring the amazing environment that this game has. Look at the little detail when Luke stamps his foot down. There is dust rising. That's such a small visual effect, but we'd never expect to see this from a LEGO game. Now for Return of the Jedi, the ending of the original trilogy, and we are on Endor this time. We have Luke in his Endor appearance. We've seen this before, but it's still good to see. And we also have a bird in the background flying around. I really do like how there's going to be a lot more AI in this game that just adds more to the world building. It's really going to make us more immersed in the game. And then we also have Luke on the Death Star 2 at the end of Return of the Jedi. As you can see, this is the Emperor's throne room. You've got his throne to the left and his window. There is X-Wings flying past it. The fact that we're going to be able to see that happen is really cool. Just look at all of the Lego bricks making up the floor and the window. It's exceptional. Last but not least is The Last Jedi, and this is Luke Skywalker. He's aged a bit. He's stretching. He's got a new idol animation instead of the one that we have in the original trilogy. He's now stretching around when he wears this outfit, and as you can see behind him is his home at the first Jedi Temple on Acto. We do have another shot of Luke on Acto in his other outfit from The Last Jedi, and he's got his staff this time. Again, another gorgeous shot of this beautiful game. I certainly cannot wait to play this game. It looks absolutely fantastic. Which of these gameplay clips we received today was your favourite? Let me know down in the comment section below. Personally, I'm going to say the Yavin 4 stuff, because we haven't seen it before, and it's great to see a new location that just looks absolutely stunning. Make sure you do subscribe so you don't miss future LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga news videos, and drop a like if you did enjoy this video. Check out any of the previous LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga news videos you might have missed by clicking the playlist on the screen right now, and I shall see you in my next news update video. Goodbye.